So one more way we'll look at making amines, and, and probably one of the more important uh, syntheses for amines that we're going to look at, uh, is what we call reductive amination. Uh, we're going to base this on a reaction we already learned with the, the chapter on nucleophilic addition to ketones and aldehydes. And uh, if we start with a ketone or aldehyde here, um, let's say we add a primary amine here, we will create an imine. Uh, and creating that imine, we can do that with either the primary amine or simply with ammonia as well. Both of those create an imine. Whereas if we use a secondary amine, we'll create an enamine here. Uh, and in this case, if you reduce those, and you can reduce those just with your normal catalytic hydrogenation reagents, uh, but more commonly, we're going to get a little more selective here, and we'll use something, something related to NABH4. And technically, you could also use NABH4 here, but the single most common reagent by far here uh, is going to be something similar to NABH4, where one of the hydrogens is replaced with that cyano group. Um, so, and this thing's a little bit less reactive than NABH4, uh, which is a good thing, because it turns out it's not going to reduce our original ketone or aldehyde that we start with, but will reduce these intermediate enamines or imines, uh, giving us our products. But the big thing to kind of take a look at here is if you start with ammonia, a completely unsubstituted amine, if you will, you end up with something one degree more substituted, a primary amine. If you start with a primary amine, you end up with a secondary amine. If you start with a secondary amine, you end up with a tertiary amine. So great way to make you know any kind of substituted amine we want. Just keep in mind that it's also a reaction of amines and a synthesis of amines because you're reacting with amines here, but then producing an amine product here. Uh, and the key again is remembering that your amine product you produce is always one degree more substituted than the reactant one you used.